Hey everyone, Victor is here, and in this video I wanna go over this fun mechanism that I've actually seen in a few exams that my students brought to me in the past. This is a classic reaction, so it's a good idea if you know how it works, in case you see something similar uh, like this in your class. As always, if you wanna work through this mechanism on your own first, make sure you pause this video now. Alright, so looking at my molecule, the first thing that I'm seeing here is that my molecule on the right has a couple of electron withdrawing groups flanking the pi bond, so that is going to be a classic diena file. Likewise, on the left, over here, I have a diene, so we are looking at the diels alder reaction in this case. And to begin with, to start this mechanism, what I'm going to do, I'm going to redraw my starting materials, the diene on the left and the diene file on the right. Next, I'm going to number my atoms. I usually like to start with the diene, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, four, and then my Diana files, so we have atoms number five and six. So in this case, I'm going to be making a new bond between carbons one and six, and likewise, I'm going to be making a new bond between carbon number four and carbon number five. So to show my curved arrows, I'm going to point one arrow here, then these electrons go down and the last arrow is going to go over here like so. And because our diene is a cyclic molecule to begin with, we are going to end up with a bicyclic molecule as the product of this reaction. So in order to draw that product, what I'm going to do here, I will actually start by drawing this stem for the bicyclic molecule. So I'm going to draw a couple of bonds here, then a couple of bonds underneath, there will be a double bond over here, double bond over here, two bonds going up, there will be an oxygen over here, and a carbonyl like that. So my atoms are atom number one, two, three, four, five, and six are over here, and the only things that are missing right now would be a nitrile over here, so I'm going to show it like that, and another nitrile on my carbon number five, so I'm going to draw it like that as well. And the new bonds that I have just formed in this case are going to be the um, bond between carbons one and six, so this new bond over here, so I'm going to show it like that, and the new bond between carbons 4 and 5, so that is my new bond as well. Now, here is something really cool about this bridged bicyclic compound. If we kick out the CO2 from it, and I'm talking about this CO2 portion right over here, so if I kick this guy out, then I'm going to end up with an aromatic species made out of the bottom ring over here. So if I wanted to show it with my curved arrows, I would do something like this. This goes here, that goes here, and these electrons go between one and six. So in a nutshell, we are essentially doing a retro diels alder reaction here. And since the diels alder reaction is in equilibrium, this step doesn't need any specific uh, conditions, reagents, or anything. We are already doing this reaction at elevated temperature, so that is all that is needed here. So as a result of this retro diels alder reaction that I am showing here, we are going to get our final product right away. And another cool part about this particular step is that we are forming CO2 here, which is a gas. And pretty much any reaction that is going to give you an evolution of gas is going to be extremely thermodynamically favorable due to a huge change in the entropy of that reaction. So that makes the second step incredibly favorable, which means that we are not scared of any unwanted interruptions interactions or any secondary co-products that we might not want to see here. And as I've mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a fairly common exam tree question, so now you know how to deal with that. Well, what did you think about this mechanism? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, boop the like button and subscribe for more. Check out this video next and I will see you next time.